Hi guys, it's Danny. Alright, it's time to see what orchids I had in bloom for the month of October. Even though it's November, <laughs> I'm a bit late with this video, but hopefully it will give you some ideas of what orchid you could buy next. So I'll start with the Oncidium Sherry Baby because, well, it just smells like chocolate. How many orchids or flowers in this world can smell like chocolate? I'll tell you, it's only the Sherry Baby. Now this orchid started blooming at the beginning of October, but it's still in bloom and it's going strong. So in lower temperatures, actually, the flowers last longer. The fragrance is just so intense that I can feel it almost anywhere in the house because my balcony is connected to the house. So if you're not good with strong scents, maybe this orchid is not for you. But if you have a separate growing room, definitely do get the Sherry Baby. And I swear you will not regret it. By the way, feel free to click the annotations on top of your screen right now. It will not drive you away from this video, it will just pause it. But they will lead you to the presentation video of this orchid or to the ID sheet on orchidnature.com for more information. Okay, the next orchid that I had in bloom was another fragrant orchid, and this is the Maxillaria rufensis. Now, I chose to display this orchid right after the Sherry Baby because many people say the Sherry Baby actually smells like vanilla. And I have the rufensis, which actually smells like vanilla, and it's the most aromatic vanilla I have ever smelt. And I have to tell you, it's absolutely different from the Sherry Baby, which seems a little bit more milky and chocolatey in a way. So if you have these orchids side by side, there's definitely a difference. If you like vanilla, more, definitely go for the Maxillaria rufensis. It's actually an easy grower, as long as you can provide warm temperatures and bright light. This one bloomed all summer long for me, and it still has some buds because I have quite a lot of sun at the moment. So it just likes lots of light and also lots of moisture. The fragrance on this one is not as strong as the Sherry Baby, but if you are close to the orchid, you can definitely feel it, and it's just so mouth-watering. Definitely, this is a must for any fragrant collection. Next orchid we have in bloom is a Dendrobium, and this is the Velvet Melody. I did an ID video on this guy recently because I just learned what the name was. You can also find this orchid in grocery shops and garden centers under the name of Thailand Black. That's just a commercial name. The true name is the one I just told you. There are a lot of variations on dark purple dendrobiums. Some of them might possess a fragrance, as some of my viewers say. This one is not fragrant, although if you stick your nose into the flower, I think you will get a sort of a forest flower type of smell. Anyway, it's not perfumey. If you're looking for a fragrant orchid, this is not it. But look at that color, and the camera does not catch the proper color. It is a deep dark purple, and the lip is just to die for. I'm not a big fan of Dendrobium Phalaenopsis, well, not yet, but I really do like this one. And I'm thinking of increasing my collection of Dendrobium Phalaenopsis because I've seen quite a lot of hybrids that are just to die for. This is one of them. Tana, this is the crown jewel of the month of October. This is the beautiful Bellara Diana Dunn Variety Gothic. If you're gonna search for the Diana Dunn, you'll see it looks nothing like this because this is just a variety and it's a pretty rare one. I don't know how I lucked out with this one, but apparently Kaufland stores sometimes bring it. Now just look at this baby. I love Bellaras in general because they are so elegant, but this one combines wildness with grace and beauty. It is also fragrant. I'm not a fan of the fragrance, but in this case I am because it just goes together with the orchid so well. It smells very spicy and peppery. And when I look at this orchid, I actually imagine Harlequin from Batman. And this is how she would smell. It's so unconventional. The fragrance is not very, very strong, but you can definitely feel it. So imagine you have this orchid in bloom on your display table and you have some guests. They will surely be attracted by the beautiful flower, but if they smell it, they're gonna be blown away. What other flower smells peppery? Let's face it, it is a win and you need to have this one, so do try to search for it. So I really hope you can find it because I'm pretty sure you will not regret it. When you see it up close, you'll be in love. And look who we have here, this is the Phalaenopsis bellina, another very, very fragrant orchid that has been in bloom all summer long. This is a sequential bloomer, so in about a month the flower drops, but there is another bud forming. So while it's warm, this orchid should actually produce flowers non-stop. The fragrance is pretty strong and pretty mouth-watering on this one, do check out the presentation video because I describe it better there. And yes, this is my favorite Phalaenopsis orchid, just look at those colors, combined with the fragrance, it's simply amazing and I'm really happy that many of my viewers actually purchased this one and I'm pretty sure they will not be disappointed. 
It's just one of those orchids that you really need to have. So if you've never seen it before and this is the first time you've seen it, do check it out at nurseries and do order it at your next purchase. And if you do, just drop me a line down below and tell me what you think of it. Speaking about Bolinas, here's another variety. This is the Red Apple, although it's now red. I have to say this variety is not as fragrant as the previous one. It does have pretty much the same fragrance, a bit sweeter I might add, but it's really really not strong. So whatever compensates with the colors kind of doesn't compensate with the fragrance. I still like it, but if I were to choose between the two, I would definitely go for the Bellina Poncan, which is the previous one that I just showed you. Other than that, it's really just very similar to the other Bellina that I just showed you. Next orchid we had in bloom was the Cycopsis mariposa, and he really looks like an alien, doesn't he? This orchid is not fragrant, but really, who needs fragrance? Just look at it, it's like an alien, it's like a robot, a transformer, what is it? It's just a beautiful, beautiful orchid, and although this particular species doesn't have too much variety within its individuals, you just have to admit that this does not look like a flower, it's a real showstopper. So again, if you have some guests and they see it on your table, they will be blown away, I can guarantee it. This orchid is again a sequential bloomer, so if one flower drops, shortly after another one will bloom. For me, it just blooms in the warmer months, and in winter time it takes a break. But if you have a warm climate and a bright climate all year round, you might actually have flowers non-stop from this orchid. Now that's what I call value. And these were the orchids that were in bloom for October. In November I'll have some more blooms, I don't know why, my orchids really like autumn. In spring and summer they're not so productive. But anyway, that's just my climate. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas of what orchids you should look out for next. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and a share, subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos and also feel free to leave me comments down below with questions or suggestions for videos or whatever you want to tell me and I'll reply to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!